What's up guys, Jason over here at Kai Kill Farm. Um, this is a video that we were debating on making. Um, I wish it was clickbait, but Peaches is sick. Um, this past weekend, when she ate, she would vomit. Just as soon as she'd eat, she'd vomit. And couldn't keep, any, couldn't keep anything down. We tried all kinds of stuff, just couldn't keep it down. So on Monday, we called our vet. Um, of course, our vet's just not up to speed on pigs. He contacted Auburn University, which is a tremendous vet school. And so they told us to bring her on. So we took Peaches to Auburn on Monday. Peaches, have a safe trip, girl. Have a safe trip. And she's still in Auburn. They, uh, they really don't know what's going on with her. They've ran a lot of tests on her. Um, they've done x-rays. I guess we're in a stage where we really don't know, but I'll tell y'all what we do know. Um, they did find a mass on her lungs or by her lungs that they don't know what that is. And they don't know if that may be pushing on her esophagus and causing her to vomit. Or could it be something totally different? They don't know what the mass is. Um, their top radiologist is at a conference, but he's coming back the first of next week. And they're kind of scared. They really want him to do the procedure of checking the mass out. Um, best case scenario is the abscess and it can be drained. Worst case scenario, it could be a, a cancerous tumor. Now, the good news Everything else looks great. All her vitals are perfect. Her blood work was great. Uh, the only issue with her blood work was her protein was a little high, but that could be caused from inflammation or a um, infection. Uh, all her organs are working perfectly. Her kidneys, everything's working perfectly. She's energetic. She's her same old peach self. The only issue we're having is, is that she vomits right after she eats. Um, she's in great care at Auburn. They have somebody monitoring her 24-7. There's somebody there 24-7. So she's in really, really great hands. Now, what's next is they want to put her back to sleep again. And this is when the radiologist comes back. They want, they want to put her back to sleep. And so he can stick a needle in the mask and see if it can be drained or get a piece of it or whatever test they want to run on it. And while she's asleep, they want to run a scope down her throat and into her stomach to see if there's any blockage there. Um, they've been giving her some medication, some nausea medication. They've been doing several things with her. and But right now, we really just don't know what's going on. Um, like I said, I, I, I was thinking I should wait before I make a video about it, but I just know Peaches is so loved by so many people, and I just thought it was maybe the right thing to do. Um, they So when the first of next week, when they um, do the procedure, they said if everything goes well, they'll know they'll keep her at least five more days. So she may be at the vet hospital for five more days, That'd be tolling roughly around 10 days at the um, at the hospital. So we're hoping that, you know, this is what we're hoping, that they find some blockage in her esophagus area and it can be removed. And then the mass is nothing but either an abscess or a non-malignant tumor. Since her blood work is perfect, uh, it kind of makes, makes them think that it's nothing... It's not cancer, but they can't rule that out until they actually run tests on it. So that's where we are. Um, I just want to let everybody know that what was going on and get all y'all caught up to speed. Now, they give us updates twice a day. They call us usually mid-afternoon-ish, and then they'll call us in the evening and give us updates as to what's going on. Now, we can call anytime we want, and they'll give us an update, but if but they're calling us twice a day, giving us updates, and if there's any changes, good or bad, they'll call us, but so far we ain't had any, um, none of those phone calls, 
everything's just been constant updates um i would say this um i'm going to post an update every time we get an update i really don't need people messaging me asking house peaches house peaches house peaches because i just won't be able to answer them because i won't know more than likely and i get so many messages now that's hard for me to keep up with let alone if i start getting a, a flooded with these so it's just more of a time issue more than anything so just be on the lookout for updates i will update on all our social media sites um, i'll update on the community post in youtube um, you usually see it on the page but if not i'm going to post on facebook i'm going to post on instagram and i'm going to post on twitter so there will be an update every day on any of those sites now we do plan on visiting her this weekend and we'll try to get some pictures and all that of peaches and give y'all update of how she's doing but for the most part from what they're telling us she's energetic she's acting like a normal pot belly pig would act so really no concern there like i said she's at one of the one of the best veterinarian colleges schools hospitals there are in the country so she's in great great hands and yeah just just keep peaches in your prayers also too just so y'all won't think that i'm crazy or what's going on my videos are always a week behind we're going to continue making our vlogs our videos are a week behind so if you saw the one yesterday you saw peaches in it that was recorded that one actually may have been recorded two weeks ago so my videos are always behind and i edit during the week so y'all won't get confused or say hey she's back um so just wanted to let y'all know that as well but guys we thank y'all so much um we love y'all and we will keep y'all posted y'all be good